What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's Black Talon time again. This is the 44 Magnum Black Talon. You might have seen this in one of our previous videos. If you didn't, I'll link it, and you should check that video out too. But these things are really nasty. I don't know if you've ever seen them before. The Black Talon opens up and turns into one heck of a nasty claw. These are 250 grain SXTs traveling at an unknown velocity because I can't remember, but it's in the other video and we'll run it through the chronograph anyway. Now a step down from that would be the nine millimeter Black Talon. Still no joke though, I don't think anybody ever wants to get hit with these. These are both really nasty, but these aren't really what we're here for. This is gonna be a baseline for this, but then this is gonna be a baseline for. I'm willing to bet that I have something that most of you have never seen, probably just about none of you. There might be a small percentage of you that have seen this, but have you ever seen the Black Talon in a 500 Magnum cartridge? When I made the Black Talon 44 video, I said, how mean can a Talon get? I didn't know that they could get this mean, so I was wrong. I apologize. I thought 44 Magnum was a mean Talon. How about 500 Magnum? So from smallest to largest, we have the 9mm, the 44 Magnum, and then the Whopper 500 Magnum. All nickel casing. Different primer here, a little bit different color here. I'll let you know what that's all about soon. But let's stack these up against each other. Let's see what we get out of a 500 Magnum Black Talon. So like usual, I'm not gonna work it up with a whole bunch of different calibers and different types of ammunition. We're gonna go straight for the meat and potatoes. Plus right behind camera guy is a big black storm cloud that's starting to get on us already. So here we go, nine millimeter Black Talon. Let's see if we get a chronograph reading. Let's strike that gel. That chronograph's at 987. We have our entrance right there. We have a beautiful wound channel, spiraling. Goes to right there, that's at about 17 inches, I can promise, that's a 20 inch block. It almost came out. There it goes, traveling down. And boom, right there. Beautiful, we'll dig that out. But that's right at the edge, it's halfway out. And it's backwards. The 9mm was nice. Let's see what the 44 Magnum does. We're 10 feet off the gel and 5 feet off the chronograph, by the way. We have an error on the chronograph. Sorry about that. It's raining, it's probably what happened. There's the nine millimeter, there's the 44. Surprisingly, side by side, that's pretty impressive that the nine millimeter is holding its ground to the 44 Magnum in wound channel and in depth. Wow. Turned around like the nine millimeter, it's obviously got a bigger bullet, but it landed at right the same place. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Definitely, like I said, a bigger wound channel, but I think it held its own. Nine millimeter is really a whooper. All right, here we go. 500 Magnum Black Talon. Pretty impressed by the nine millimeter. Impressed by the 44, but actually impressed that the nine millimeter kept right up with the 44. Those are pretty much equal as far as penetration. Let's see what this thing does. I don't think we're gonna get a chronograph rating right eh. I don't think we're gonna get a chronograph reading because of the rain. Hopefully I hit this target where it needs to be. Nice. We did get a chronograph reading and it is 1634. So that put a pretty hard whooping on that block. There's the entrance wound right there. We have the nine, we have the 44, and then we have the 500. So there we go, that thing tore really good. But again, it stopped before the end of the block. This is a 20 inch block.
Hopefully you can see that despite the rain, but that is a huge wound channel. That thing is enormous. I mean, there's my thumb. Starts there, just explodes, and then continues and falls short of the 44 and the 9 millimeter. But that bullet's opened up beautifully in there. Really stinks we have rain today, but I think we got the picture. So real quick, for those who care about the retained weight and things like that, the 9 millimeter has a retained weight of 154.9. The 44 has a retained weight of 261.2, which is weird because it's a 250 grain bullet. And the original starting weight of the 500 grain or 500 magnum is 418 grains. And the finished weight is 401 grains. So it did lose a little bit. That's what they look like on the back. Let's take some measurements. So here's a good top down view of them. The 500 Magnum's got a ton of power just pushing those pedals back. A little bit of a side profile. Bonkers. But they all do have those sharp claws on them. They just open up at different levels for the different calibers. And finally the bottom view. That really shows the story there. So the rain let up, but I lost my camera guy. And the neighbor's mowing his lawn, I think, after a rainstorm. But anyway, how did you like the Black Talon? What did you think about the difference between the 9mm, the 44, and the 500 Magnum? It's pretty incredible to me that they all made it just about the same distance. It's not a surprise that the 500 actually opened up so much and slowed down because with such a flat base, or a flat front, trying to push through all that gel, that's a lot of resistance. So. It's not surprising that they all kind of ended up equaling each other out as the wound channel gets bigger, as the bullet flattens out more. They keep going and they lose power, but they all equal out to end up at the same place. However, the wound channel is just absolutely devastating from the 500 Magnum. So again, let's take a look at these boxes really fast. So I don't have a box for the 9mm, sorry, that just came to me randomly. But here's the 44 Magnum, and then there's the 500 Magnum. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a trick. This isn't really a black talon. This is a Winchester Platinum tip. They don't actually make black talon 500 Magnum. Some of you are, might have already picked this up. Some of you might have been tricked. Some of you might be mad right now thinking I'm lying to you. Some of you guys might not have watched this part of the video and you guys will be forever spoofed. But it's a Winchester Platinum tip. 400 grain. 500 Magnum. They never actually made the Black Talon in 500 Magnum, but they used the same type of bullet. It's the same type of bullet here. It's the SXT, but in the 500 Magnum, they call it the Platinum Tip. So anytime you find a Platinum Tip 500 Magnum, you know it's really actually the technology pretty much of a Black Talon. It just hits with so much force that it really mushrooms itself back. It doesn't leave the petals like that, and it's not colored black. These things are actually colored silver. I just painted the tip. Some of you might have picked up on the shininess because I didn't have the right colored marker. But really, they're platinum. They're silver. But if you look at the tip, it's the same. I'm getting the right part of the camera. So, they're pretty cool and they're devastating. I definitely, I'm going to shoot a deer with one of these this year. That's going to be fun. We'll see how that works out. So the platinum tips are extremely expensive. You're usually going to find them for about 75 or 85, probably more now, if you can even find them. Every now and then you can find them in a shop. They're sitting there in a corner because not a lot of people buy 500 Magnum. So if you ever see the platinum tips, grab them if you're willing to pay for them. However, interesting fact, you saw me playing around with this when we were measuring bullets. This is a platinum tip that I painted because... There I go spilling them. I really shouldn't be spilling them at a dollar a piece. But anyway, these are reloadable. Um, I can't tell you where to find them, and they're actually a little bit difficult to find. But if you want to reload, I know you'll look for them, and I know you'll know where to find them. Just look for Platinum Tip 500 Magnum. They're about a dollar a piece, but holy smokes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start loading these up in different velocities, 
and I'm gonna start sending them out of that 500 Magnum revolver, we're gonna see if they do different things at different velocities in the gel. If you slow them down, they might get a little deeper. If you speed them up, they might get more explosive and they might not get as deep. But you don't have to stay with factory loading when you can reload, and that's the fun part. So I have a big old handful of these, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with them. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe. We'll be coming back to that shortly. With that being said, this is probably the last I'll ever see of these because you guys are probably going to go buy them all up now. But that's all right. I spread the word so that you guys can have fun and do cool things. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Turkey's Opinion. Black Talon 500 Magnums, actually platinum tips. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more cool stuff from those bullets. In the meantime, check out some of our playlists. See what we do here at the Turkey's Opinion. We do a lot of different things. We do some news. We do some honest reviews. We do some things like this just to have fun. In the meantime, until our next video, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.